Welcome to J5 Circuits. We design and distribute smart home devices for our customers all over the world and rely on Odoo to coordinate our product support and repair operations. Let's jump right in and see what we can fix today. Here on the Help Desk dashboard, we see high-level performance data surrounding our customer care tasks. Our repairs team is the backbone that drives these ratings. We get tagged on the support request involving various product issues that can come up for our customers. These requests are prioritized across multiple teams that have their own assignment rules and service level agreements. These guide how quickly tickets are assigned and solved depending on the kind of coverage that's offered for each team. We'll start with the VIP tickets first, since those include SLAs with timed repair requests. Now, our team's tasks are specifically marked in the Kanban. And we can see a few repair orders are already in progress. That's great. Let's validate this new high priority one that just came in. Looks like it came from the website support form. This is handy for us because when the customer provides key information, Odoo helps fill in the rest of the ticket using the automations we set up beforehand. First things first, we need to inspect the detail of the request. The customer wrote out a message and even attached some footage, which we can see here across the description and chatter sections. Let's take a look. Oh boy, that's no good. Let's quickly validate the referring sales order to make sure it's actually one of ours. Odoo recognizes the request is coming from a past customer and lets us quickly pull up their past sales order history. Here's what we're looking for. I can now see the product they ordered and when it was placed. Yep, seems like one of ours. And based on the order date, their support request is definitely covered under warranty and we can issue a repair order right away. We kick off the RMA process by clicking this delivery smart button up top here. And then we convert their past delivery order into a new return order. On the return order, we'll add the necessary shipping information so Odoo can print the return label. This is so the customer can send the product back for repairs. Great, here it is. Odoo generated a PDF for us using the integrated shipping connector. Now, we'll drop that same PDF as a message attachment to the customer back on the support ticket. Looks good, off it goes. Now, while we wait for the product return to arrive, let's get that repair order ready. On the new draft, Odoo knew to link the customer as well as the originating sales order containing the faulty item, which we'll specify here. Since we opened a return order earlier for the RMA, we can link that here too. Remember, this repair is under warranty, which means the customer doesn't get charged for parts or labor. And generally speaking, we like to give our customers about a five day lead time in order for the product to be received back in our inventory. Since that part's out of our hands, we can at least keep it in focus with an activities reminder. Let's make a to-do to check with reception, just in case we haven't received the faulty product by the scheduled date. Since I'm responsible for this ticket, I'll add the parts, types, and products I think we'll be working with in order to reserve them ahead of time in our inventory. These values can be changed later, but I like to avoid stockouts if I can help it. Okay, I think we're all set for now. Let's confirm it and work on some other orders until this one's ready for us. Looks like the return arrived, so let's get back to our ticket. If you recall, the device was flagged for functional anomalies resulting in unwarranted tracking of priority household members, along with a localized redistribution of debris. Let's see what that's all about. Ah, it's just as I thought. The AI chip clearly experienced some heat damage, along with the surrounding parts that regulate performance and provide valuable input data. Now that we understand what we're dealing with, let's add the other parts we'll need here on the RO lines. One moment, please. With control board replacements complete and a quick update to the firmware, the vacuum no longer appears to be showing signs of a troublesome pet fixation. That's one problem down. Now, what's up with these messy outbursts? Yeah, we can't have that. A few more quick replacements here. I've actually seen similar issues come up a number of times with these parts specifically. I'll tag our QA team to clue them in on what's going on. All right, let's run some tests. Functioning at 100%. The unit passed our post-repair quality checks, 
So we can end the repair and head back to the sales order, which includes new order lines for the repair parts and labor products at no additional cost, of course. Being a VIP does have its perks. To ship the product back, we add another return order in our list of transfers, this time as an outbound delivery. This way, all the product moves are connected to the original SO for a clean paper trail. Let's grab our new shipping labels and validate the order which automatically sends out an SMS notification to the customer, who we follow up with again back on the help desk ticket by attaching the updated invoice and sharing the tracking information inside a canned response. Another one solved ahead of schedule. With Odoo repairs, we were able to solve this issue quickly and document every step of the way. And by tapping into the larger Odoo ecosystem, we leveraged interdepartmental knowledge and could support other teams' operations while conducting our own. Because with Odoo, everything is connected and amazing employees deserve that kind of amazing software.